Hi friends, welcome to Ask Chef. Today I'm gonna go over a bolognese sauce which we used in the lasagna uh, a couple of episodes ago. So here we go, a nice bolognese sauce you can make at home while you're watching a nice movie and uh, it takes a little bit of time, but trust me, it's homemade and is well worth it. So let's get started here. And also the recipe will be in the link afterwards. So uh, thank you for watching and let's get started. So have a nice saucepan ready to go nice and have all your ingredients like always ready to go. We got some salt and pepper, some onion, balsamic vinegar, some bay leaves, garlic, sugar, oregano, celery, carrot, garlic butter, fresh basil, extra lean ground beef, whole plum tomatoes and olive oil. So we'll start with the olive oil getting nice and hot and a little bit of butter. It just gives it that flavor. We're gonna put the onions in, nice and sizzle up. Get these so they're nice and just turning color so it's nice and clear. Just like that. Then we're gonna add the carrot and the celery, get it nice and colorful. That'll take a good five to seven minutes sauteing itself up. Once again, I use the whole tomatoes because the whole tomatoes are always the, they're, they're the A1. They're the top tomato that goes into the can. Crushed or diced are usually a number two and you got pieces of stuff in them. So I always use the whole tomato. You can, uh, like, it, it, it's just a beautiful number one grade tomato. When you go and you put the, when we're putting the tomatoes in, you can either use your hands. I like using a whisk just to break it up. But that's in a few minutes here after we cook the beef. So we got the going on here, nice and saute. You can smell that beautiful flavor. Once we get that, I don't put the garlic in too soon because otherwise it'll burn to the bottom of the pan. So now I take our garlic and like I say, the, it'll be in the recipe. This garlic will now stick to the food and give it flavor and it'll caramelize itself as well. This here will, like I say, it's take, will take about anywhere from seven to 10 minutes. So after we have this nicely sauteed up, all the carrots and celery and onion are soft and uh, it's, been a, it's been about seven to 10 minutes here. We're gonna add the, the beef. So we take the, the pound of ground beef here, extra lean ground beef, and we put it right in and we just start breaking it up. I use one of the long wooden spoons, not something short, so we're, we're not you know close to the uh, heat. So we just break it up like so. You can break it up beforehand in a bowl if you wish. This here will, uh, this will take another 10 to 12 minutes of sauteing the beef with all this goodness. Once you've got the beef nice and uh, nice and cooked up here, all cooked, uh, you'll have some nice little bubbly, the juices from the carrot and the celery. Just leave that, don't worry about it. You have to use extra lean or really, really good lean ground beef so you don't have any grease in there. So that's my extra lean. It's so nice and uh, there's no excess grease on there. So once the beef and you're satisfied, the beef is nicely cooked up, you're gonna grab your, your whole tomatoes. Like I say, the rest will be in, be in the, in the uh, link. Just add those like that. And you're gonna add your balsamic vinegar. That gives it a nice tang. Throw in your bay leaves and your nice oregano and your sugar. Let's break these up now, just like this. Look at that, beautiful. And those break up so nice and easy. Just beautiful. You're gonna look at this and go, oh, amazing. This here will freeze really nicely. Uh, it, uh, 
it it uh, it goes into canning jars really nicely. Uh, to you can freeze it. It's just a nice freezing uh, sauce. Once we have it all incorporated like this. You can season it a little bit more. I also like to season it at the end after we have it a, a good taste of it. Um, so this here will now simmer for a solid hour and a half on a really, really low heat and just let it go just a nice, nice uh, simmer and everything will incorporate. All those flavors will come together. Now that we have the bolognese been simmering for an hour and a half and all those beautiful flavors coming together, it's time to plate and finish it. So we take a nice serving spoon. You have your pasta already, uh, your kid's favorite or whatever you want. This is also what you would use for the lasagna. And so we're gonna do a nice penne for the kids. Uh, this sauce here, you just grab and you just kind of pour it on. You can actually toss all this into a bowl and toss it up just all together and then maybe top a little bit more on top. So once we have this done, we can finish it with some nice cheese. This is Asiago, you can use parm, whatever you guys prefer. Take a nice chunky piece of bread, like so, and just have it ready, just like that, right fresh out of the oven, just like that. So now, some nice fresh basil, take this, Take it just nice and chop up, just like that. Beautiful, right on top. And we're gonna finish it. A tiny little drizzle of olive oil and some salt and pepper. There we go. Excellent. Pasta bolognese. Thanks for watching. Any questions, just send me a message and ask Chef. Till next time. Take care.